Sodome Pegasus Tiart. Got in, got it in. Sodome, to see the Oracle's prophecy fulfilled, our forces have recently conducted a robust series of reconnaissance missions. I believe now is the time to launch a collaborative strike. I'd love to hear how you were able to come to that conclusion. I hope that this massive strike is not a waste of time, Dolgana. Naturally, there is no point in making such a maneuver if it fails to usher staggering results. <laughs> <laughs> it would appear that some of the primitives are capable of flying almost as well as we can. You mean the ones who totally kicked uh, your butt? If I only had more time, I would have turned them into a raging <laughs> sea of blood. That is enough. Dogana, what is your plan regarding this matter? Your Majesty, for starters, I would like Clyde to fight in the Vanguard. Perfect! We will follow closely behind and hunt down the Lamata. Very well. So then what would you have me do? Babysit Loomis? Lutil, I would like you and Loomis to finish off whatever is left of the Lamata. You will be in charge of this tar Your Majesty. everyone find working together for the Shikara amusing? I have heard that this journey's prophecy is of a scale that only comes once every 300 years. The Lamada have her sister yeah. beyond The our thrill path. of the hunt comes from everyone relying upon their own skill! Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna think to an end. <laughs> the impatient brat. Hmm. May I have a glass as well? You're still here, Lutil. This wine's delicious. I love it. Shouldn't you see to your preparations? I leave after one more glass. I'm quite excited. Oh, I wonder what I will be able to mount in my manor after this Tahera. Lutil, this prophecy is not meant for your own personal gain. Remember that. Of course. Says. The Parasada just adjourned a few minutes ago. I am well aware. Then where were you? Giant. Brother. You're hurt. Tend to him. I would have appreciated your attendance today, Plegazes. Dolgana. But your majesty. You cannot measure him by your set of standards, not my brother. Brother, would you care for a little match? I must prepare for Tarheveron. Purify yourself and prepare for battle. Have any complaints? <laughs> My 
brother's woman was rather humble. And she was not to your liking, was she? It made her a bit boring. Even I may not amply satisfy you, Prince Plegasus. You are the very image of Manava. You obey your every instinct, as you obtain anything you desire. It is an admirable quality. Instinct? But those Lamata, they consider it to be a disgrace to obey one's instinct and drown in desire. But isn't there a sort of sweet dignity in the instinct of the living? Take what you want, kill those you wish to kill, and have those you wish to have. Dear Prince Plegasus, Do you think that race of Lamata can defy our instincts? Tell me, why exactly are we implementing this kind of operation? Well, as I already explained, we were successfully able to shrink the optical weapon. However, it does take some time to fire, and it is unable to fire a series of shots. As such, we must rely got on Got it, got it. But, sir, I wasn't done yet. I'll take it from here. More importantly, what? see anything you like over here, Lieutenant? What? What you think? Commander-in-Chief Zorig of the GDF will explain the situation leading to the present. Many years ago, the economic powers of the world once had their own well-established armies. And those armies were then unified as one force, ultimately becoming what is now the GDF. Afterwards, the Wolgaru hit us with a surprise attack. As it was our first encounter with foes from the far reaches of space, it was difficult for us to respond in a coordinated manner. However, we have finally reached the point where we are capable of initializing a robust suite of full-scale operations. Upon multiple analyses primarily conducted by the Operations Command, we have completed what we believe to be the best strategy for this upcoming battle. We consider it imperative that the media and the people of the world use their utmost discretion and offer their support. As such, we would like to disclose the content of our strategy in full detail. Vice Chief of Staff Komine. Sir! Huh? Lieutenant Amine, what's going on? What are you doing here? And why can't I be here? Isn't it almost time for you to explain the strategy to the media at the press conference? I mean, weren't you the central figure behind devising the entire plan? Take a look. Huh? Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to explain our strategy. The GDF's recent assault on the enemy base and planetoid RA-221 ended in success. However, we believe that the enemy is preparing to retaliate. As such, we have decided to destroy Ragaza, which is the enemy's frontline base, located in close proximity to our army base on Karis. <laughs> First, we will initially attack the enemy with our cutting-edge laser-based system. To prevent the enemy from rushing us, we will set up an elaborate minefield. On top of that, the mobile troops will fire in unison with disposable railguns. Nice, right? After that, we will then enter normal battle. Having predicted the enemy's path, we have positioned vessels in front of Karis that will fire a volley of guided sublight speed missiles. Afterwards, we will focus on absolute defense until the optical weapon is fully charged. Once the tactical heavy laser system is at full power, the Vanguard mobile troops and vessels will leave the laser's line of fire. Upon evacuation, we will destroy the Wolgaru base along with their fleet. That is all. The GDF will do everything within its power to defeat the Wolgaru and win this war for all humanity. Sorry to have kept you waiting. Let me introduce her. This is Miss Peko Yamada. She will be in charge of managing your schedule. It is an absolute pleasure. Uh, the, the pleasure's ours. She is boarding the mothership with us. Hello, everyone. I'll be supervising your schedules in everyday lives. If you ever